Education. One fifteen. This is the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. News edited by Catherine Pereira and read by Niranjan Abe Sundara. Pranal Vikram Singh says that a modern technological education system will be implemented suited for the year 2030. The Prime Minister leaves for China on a five-day official visit. Kept approval granted to decide the foreign employment sector. Ex-President Maithripala arrived at CID over Easter attack statement. Police hotline receives over 1,000 complaints on abuse, violence against women and children. In World News, China linked to UK electoral rural cyber attacks. Preliminary Singer says that a modern technological education system will be implemented suited for the year 2030. Teachers will be trained in this regard. New technology system will be introduced to schools. Action will be taken to introduce artificial intelligence to schools. It also stated that National AI Centre will be established in this purpose. 10 million rupees have been allocated for research programs. A national ceremony to provide a midday initial meal was commenced by the President at the Nagarajan Peter Sudhata Marika Vidyalaya. Malnutrition is a major issue in the country. The government is hoping to provide solutions to these issues. Minister Premier Jaita said that the Education Ministry has undertaken measure to offer a main meal to school every student in grades 1 through 5 starting from today. Decision was taken into consideration following recommendations from the nutritionists. Minister Sunil Premadanta had given instruction to serve the breakfast between 7.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. before the students engage in educational activities. A total of 1.6 million students are beneficiaries of this year's school feeding program, covering all the students in the primary grades of 9,100 government schools and all schools with less than 100 students. The government has allocated a budget of 16,016 million, million rupees. Prime Minister Nishikuramadana left for China last night for a five-day official visit, uh, but so has said. The said the Prime Minister had agreed to visit the country on the special invitation of the Chinese government. During the visit, an agreement is to be reached on the restructuring of loans given to Sri Lanka by China, whose payments have been suspended. Ten other Sri Lankan delegations have joined the Prime Minister for this visit. The entire operations of the foreign employment would be decided soon, where migrant workers can coordinate via an app. Labour and Foreign Prime Minister Manjana Nekara said yesterday. He said that cabinet approval has been granted in this regard. He was speaking to journalists in Marthale on the sidelines of the Jagamo Sri Lanka program yesterday. This would make the Foreign Employment Bureau thwart unnecessary interference and handle illegal activities effectively. He said this would also help eliminate traffickers and fraudsters from the foreign employment sector and would improve communication between migrant workers and authorities. This news broadcast comes to you from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. Former President Maithi Parasiri Sen has arrived at the Criminal Military Department to make a statement over his recent comments regarding the Easter Sunday bomb attacks. The CID summoned the former President in order to record a statement over the controversial statement he recently made on the Easter Sunday attacks. After Minister of Public Security Tiran Alas had instructed the IGP to carry out an investigation into Siri Sen's remarks. The special unit established in the Bureau for the Prevention of Abuse of Children and Women of Sri Lanka Police have received a total of 1,077 complaints related to incidents of abuse, violence and harassment against women and children through hotline number 109 between 4 January to 10th of March this year. Police Media Division have said investigation into 477 of their complaints have been completed and legal action have been initiated with regard to 42 complaints. Eight of the complaints have been forwarded to the Mediation Boards Commission, while investigations are currently underway in relation to 550 complaints it added. 
The special unit, which is operational around the clock, was established in the Bureau for the Prevention of Abuse of Children and Women of Sri Lanka Police. With effect from January 4, 24, in order to receive complaints related to violence against children and women. Police Media Division said the special unit allows general public to submit complaints related to crimes against children and women through email address cwb.online at police.gov.lk or hotline number 0109 and telephone number 011 244444. local news for now. The main news story is brought to you by Siddha Lepa Vedamahatma. 106 teachers who served as teachers' assistants and nine diploma holders have been recruited to the teacher service in remote areas in the central province owing to the teacher shortage in the area. Appointment letters were handed over by the governor, Lalit Yugamage. That was the main news story. The main news story was brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. Watch Life is brought to you by CIB Navio offer valuable gifts and gift vouchers 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April. Visit CIB today. CIB revives once always. People of Adravala are facing severe hardships due to a lack of transport facilities. The SLTB and private buses that are operated from Kurunagra to Malpitya have been suspended in midway. The request of the authority to provide speedy solution to this issue. That came to you in Watchlight. CIB Navio offer valuable gifts and gift vouchers 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April. Visit CIB today. CIB revives once always. Coming up, World News. China linked to UK electoral role cyber attacks. Ukraine war to Russians landing ships hit off Crimea, officials say. Israel war on Gaza, Israeli forces laying siege to three hospitals. UK government is expected to link cyber attacks on the country's election watchdog to China. Attacks on the Electoral Commission, which reportedly saw personal details of millions of voters accessed, happened in August 2021, but only revealed last year. So the MPs and peers who have been critical of Beijing are thought to have also been targeted in cyber attacks. Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden will address Parliament today about the threat. BBC understands that other Western nations will set out a similar concern. Ukraine says it has hit Two landing ships, the communication center and other infrastructure used by Russia's Black Sea fleet of Annex Crimea. Announcement by the Ukrainian general staff said Yamal and Azov ships have been destroyed. The Russian installed governor of Port of Sevastopol said 10 Ukrainian missiles had been shot down. Russia also launched a missile and drone attack on the capital Kiev and the region of Lviv earlier yesterday. Israeli forces have surrounded Al Amal and Nasser hospitals in southern Gaza, while in the north, soldiers are continuing a deadly week long raid on Al Shifa medical complex. At least the nine Palestinians have Palestinians been killed in an Israeli attack on Deir al Bala. A correspondent has reported with several people remaining trapped under rubble. Israel has informed the United Nations it will no longer approve UNRWA food convoys to North Gaza, where 70% of the people face an extreme level of food scarcity. Mediation officers to end the bloodshed in Gaza appear to be struggling, while Hamas officials telling Al Jazeera that Israeli negotiators have rejected their latest proposal for a ceasefire. Back to the headlines of the world news, China linked to UK electoral role cyber attacks. Ukraine war to Russian landing ships hit off Crimea. And Israeli war, Gaza, Israeli forces laying siege to three hospitals. That was World News. Development News. 
The development work of the main road from Koskamula to Maldenia in Dimulangala was initiated by the Minister Dr. Bandar Gulamadala. Four million rupees has been spent for the project. Meanwhile, Senapura Valley Kanda Junction to Tuchena Road was developed and carpeted at a cost of 74 million rupees. That came to you in Development News. We now bring on Sports News. Moving on with Sports News. Today, the fourth day of the first test between Sri Lanka team and the Bangladesh team being played at Selet. Bangladesh chasing a victory target of 111 runs, 109 for 7 wickets at lunch. Sri Lanka scored an 18 in their first innings and 418 runs for the second innings. Bangladesh were all out for 188 runs in their first innings. That was Sports News. Go Ekakiana, you take a life cricket, change a cutter, near Meta Setrena. As for Hagena, then a Pugina, a Becarana. You take a turn, near Meta Setrena, friendship Becamena. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Ceylon Chamber of Commerce, the premier representative of Sri Lanka's private sector, will be marking its 180th anniversary today. Established in 1839, initially to cater to the needs of the plantation industry, primarily rubber and coconut, it has evolved into an institution representing a wide sector of industry and commerce. Today, boasting a membership of over 500 members, including some of the largest corporations in Sri Lanka, the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce stands at the pillar of support for businesses across various sectors. That was Business News. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Go Ekakiana, you take a life cricket, change a cutter, near Meta Setrena. As for Hagena, then a Pugina, a Becarana. You take a turn, near Meta Setrena, friendship Becamena. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. Economic News, a special program has been initiated by the Wildlife Department to safeguard the harvest reaped by the farmers in Minipe Irrigational Movement to protect their crops from animals. Harvesting of mass season is being carried out. This program will be implemented to protect their harvest from the wild elephants. That is Economic News. Weather Report Snow spells of showers may occur in the eastern and Uwa provinces and in the Pudanadua district. Shards are the shards that occur of the places in the western, Sabaragama, southern and capital cent- central provinces during the afternoon or night. These conditions can be expected at some places in the central Sabaragama and Uwa provinces and in Karatharagor and Matara district in the morning tomorrow. With that, we end the afternoon news. You're to Radio Sri Lanka. And until 2 p.m., let's enjoy music with lunch.